funny seeing you guys here. Oh, yep. So I kind of been wanting to do this for a while. I know I have some new subs who I feel don't really know me as a person. So I asked you guys on my Instagram and on my TikTok to ask me some juicy questions and I was gonna answer them. So here we are. I also want to go over some like basic questions just kind of about myself so I can get on a more personal level with you guys because I feel like we don't even know each other. Like we need to. We need to be besties. Before we get right into juicy questions, I'll give you guys a little bit of background about me. My name is Julia Johnson. I'm 22. I have a sister. Her name is Emma and I'll pop up a picture of her. She is beautiful. I love her. I'm from a very, very small town. I have lived on my own since I was 18. I moved out of my house um, around the age of 18 and I ended up actually going to college for my entire freshman year. I went to Southern Maine Community College. We ended up getting sent home because of COVID. After that, I ended up doing the rest of that year online and then I did go to Central Maine Community College for two years and then I dropped out. I'm a Gemini. I have a boyfriend. Yeah, that's basically the gist about me. Now let's hop into some more juicier questions that you guys asked me. My computer is literally making such loud noises. I'm kind of concerned. We're starting off really strong here. Somebody asked, have you ever smoked or drank? And the answer to that is yes, I have. I don't know what I was thinking in my high school, college years, but I did smoke. <laughs> As for drinking, I drank all through high school, drank in college, but when I turned 21, I was like, honestly, this isn't as much fun as it used to be. Um, so I kind of stopped drinking. You know, I drink casually here and there. Drinking is not for me, okay? No shade to anyone who drinks or smokes, but those are just not for me. <laughs> These questions are crazy. It seems like we're gonna get a little personal. Next question that somebody asked was, at what age did your parents give you the talk? There's a really funny story about that. Um, <laughs> they gave me the talk when I was probably 13 or 14. I obviously had questions, so I wasn't shy about it. Whenever I asked, that was when the conversation kind of happened. I remember my mom explaining it to me in detail. And I was like, oh, okay. That's what everyone's talking about at school. Okay, cool. <sighs> Good times. So the next question, <laughs> I don't even know if I can answer these. Um, someone asked, have you ever gotten in trouble with the police? And the answer to that is yes. Um, I was at a party and it was New Year's Eve. I was completely drunk. I was in my town at like a friend's house with a whole bunch of other people. It was like a raging party. And it was also at somebody's parents' house when their parents weren't home. And all of a sudden I hear people saying, the cops are outside, the cops are outside. And I'm like, what? The cops are outside? So I go and look and I see the lights outside and I'm like, oh yeah. Oh, what do I do? I run up the stairs. I go and tell literally anyone and everyone I can. I'm like, the cops are here. The cops are here. Like, what are we going to do? Me and a bunch of other random people, girls that I've never even met before in my life, we all grabbed each other and ran up into the attic. We went in the attic. All of the other girls are bawling their eyes out. I'm like shivering because we're in the attic. It's winter. It's freezing freaking cold. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, oh my God, this is so bad. Like they're, they know, they, they know that we're underage. I hear the cops scream from downstairs and they say, we know you're in there. Like, come out. We saw you running up the stairs. At that point, I'm like, okay, they're going to not knowing because I'm pretty sure you have to have a warrant to enter the house. And it was like past 12 AM at that point. And I'm pretty sure they had to have had a warrant to come in and search the house, but they may have had probable cause too. I don't really know how all that stuff works. And in my head, I'm thinking, oh my gosh, they're going to come up here. And if we're hiding, then it looks a lot worse than if we just come out and say, okay, like we know what we did wrong. 
So in my head, I'm like, guys, we need to get up and we need to go down the stairs. Like we, we got to. And they're like, okay, yeah. And one girl's like freaking out. Like I'm in med school. She's like, they're literally gonna kick me out of med school. I said, you stay here and we'll go downstairs. Like we'll go. So I lead the pack down the stairs. Everyone that's over 21 is standing downstairs by the cops at the front door. I'm walking down the stairs and everybody's staring at me. And I look behind me, nobody followed me. None of the other girls followed. It was just me doing the walk of shame, literally down the stairs. And the cop looks at me and he goes, you need to get your ID. And I was like, I don't even know where that is. <laughs> I go out to my car and I found it and I gave it to him. I ended up in the kitchen with everyone else that was at the party. I was the only underage one. Mind you, the police scanners are going off about this house and the party. My parents are calling and texting me like, do you need a ride? Are you okay? Like what's happening? We heard you are in trouble on the scanner. Honestly, W parents for not being that mad. I was probably 17 at the time. So then we end up doing breathalyzer test. I was just like completely in shock. Like what is even happening right now? I ended up getting breathalyzed. I blew over the legal limit and I was underage. <laughs> so the cop gives me a lecture, you know, tells me, you know, you, you gotta do better. Luckily, this cop was goaded. He didn't end up giving me a citation and I didn't have to go to court, thank the Lord. Somebody asked, do you wanna have kids someday? Of course I wanna have kids one day. I have always, you know, been that babysitter, that nanny, that person for somebody. You know, my parents used to go out all the time with their friends when I was younger, when I was like 15, 16, and I was always the one that was in charge of watching all the other kids because I was always the oldest one. So I am the oldest child, by the way, my sister is 20. What is your biggest regret in life? Although this isn't like a regret, it's, it's something that I feel really kind of emotional about. I moved out of my house when I was 18, like I said. I kind of just like got so independent on my own and like doing my own thing, working, taking care of my apartment, taking care of my cat. I kind of fell off of like spending time with my family. I still to this day feel regret for not staying home a little bit longer. My grandparents are getting older, my parents are getting older and I just feel like I missed out on opportunities to spend more time with them and it makes me kind of sad. Somebody asked, do you have any hidden talents? Not really, but I can do this. <laughs> that was always something that people were like, how can you do that when I was in high school and stuff? But yeah, that's my secret talent, I guess. Somebody said, would you rather have one close friend or many not so close friends? For me personally, I feel like I would rather have one close friend than have a group of friends that aren't really that close to me. I've always had that one or two really close best friends. All through high school, I had like friends, not friends that I would like go and blab my mouth to about anything and everything but I had friends. I was on the basketball team and so we were all kind of friends. How many times have you moved? Um, I've moved twice. I live in the state of Maine. I don't know if I've said that before. Have you ever been bullied? Yes, I have been bullied. Um, I just took it with a grain of salt, to be honest with you. I never really let it affect me that much. For some reason, I feel like I would have taken it more to heart now, but back then I just took it with a grain of salt. I was like, Okay, you want to be a mean girl? We're gonna be mean girls. It's like, let it not phase me. I mean, behind closed doors, I would get really, really upset, but I would never show it in front of the person. And honestly, that is the best weapon. Being silent, for the most part, people bully to get reaction. So just don't give it, you know, don't give in. What's your biggest pet peeve? I say this in all caps, if I could, loud, chewing any type of loud chewing noise irks me so freaking bad when i'm just like chilling eating somewhere at a restaurant and i see someone at the table across from me and they are munching down mouth wide open and everything i i just can't and someone's chewing gum and it's like Tell me right now that that noise does not irk you. Staying in or going out, you're staying in for sure. Um, if I answered this question two or three years ago, it would definitely be going out. The type of person who would go out every single day, 
have to be doing something all the time. And my parents, when I was growing up, were like, why can't you just stay put? Like, why do you have to be going from thing to thing to thing? Like, why can't you just stay home and be happy when you're home? Dogs are cats and obviously cats. I got a bunch of questions about OCD stuff and mental health, but I think honestly, I'll make a whole separate video on mental health, OCD and all of that stuff just because I could go on and talk about that for so long. Do you believe in God? And I'm not gonna go into depth about this because it is personal and close to my heart, but yes, of course I believe in God. Have you ever shoplifted? <laughs> this is honestly embarrassing to admit. <laughs> yes, I have shoplifted from Target before when I was 15. I was with a group of friends that were two or three years older than me and I had no idea about shoplifting. That is not something that I was ever, ever, ever brought up to do. They were all doing it somehow, some way they convinced me to do it and I did. And after I did it, the guilt that I felt was insane. I have never felt anything like that in my life. As a 15 year old, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna get in trouble, I'm gonna get in trouble. No, I felt bad for the store. I was, I felt extremely disgusting with myself. I felt terrible. I wanted to take it back to the store and um, tell them what I did. But then again, I didn't wanna get in trouble. So I was like, shoot. So I literally just put it in a bag and left it in my closet for probably four years until I ended up finding it when I was packing up my stuff to move out. I ended up just throwing it in the trash. Still had the tags on it and everything. I would never, and I'm not advising anyone to, trust me, the feeling is not worth it. Someone said, what's your most embarrassing story? And I wasn't gonna answer this, but to be quite honest with you, this is a juicy Q and A. We're getting juicy. When I was like 13 and 14, those ages, I went through some weird stuff and I was obviously going through puberty and everything. And I don't know if this has anything to do with the puberty thing, but I slept walk so bad for about a year and a half to two years. And it was to the point where my dad and I had to have a safe word because we never knew if I was actually awake or sleeping. One time I went over to my friend's um, house. In the middle of the night, I guess I slept walk because we woke up in the morning and there was a puddle of pee on the floor in the room her mom was sleeping in. And I was wearing the same pants that I peed in all night. <laughs> I've never been so embarrassed in my life. When her mom woke up in the morning, because for some reason, I didn't even clean it up. Like I noticed it and just was like stunned. Like I couldn't move out of my bed. And so yeah, that was really embarrassing. They ended up having to rip up the flooring and put in new flooring because of me. And then the next night I somehow almost did the same exact thing in the closet. But luckily my friend was awake and found me in the closet before I actually did it. Yeah, not good. And I don't think I was ever invited back to that camp. <laughs> Okay, this one's gonna be the last question I answer in this video. I can definitely do a part two to this video if y'all want. Have you ever kissed a girl? Yes, I have. Um, it was one of my best friends at the time. It was New Year's. It was, you know, a drunken thing. And honestly, we looked back on it and it was hilarious. We, we laughed about it for so long. No regrets. That's gonna be it for the video. I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed watching and I hope that you learned a little bit more about me and, you know, the juicy stuff of my life. With that being said, I love you guys so much. Don't forget to leave a like on this video. And if you made it all the way to the end here, leave a blue emoji heart down below. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.